5,300 feet above sea level, the land of enchantment. Albuquerque, New Mexico is the site to open up one of the best times of the year. We welcome you to the 11th Gildan New Mexico Bowl. It is the first of 38 FBS Bowl games. And it starts off what is a great run towards the college football playoff national championship game. A turnaround season for New Mexico and a historic year for UTSA in its first ever bowl game in its six year history. Mountain West Co Conference Mountain Division co champion New Mexico is the road team for Sturm on third and five. And Sturm, a very good athlete, will get shut down by Kimmy Carson at the 20 yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. Kevin Cosgrove, the defensive coordinator for New Mexico. He was at Nebraska. He was at Wisconsin. He knows how to dial them up. I think again we see fade to the field. And it is to Josh Stewart, their leading receiver, and it's knocked away. Well, and we saw Josh Stewart make one of the better plays that I've ever seen a receiver make over at Texas A&M in the corner. He's their tall guy. Redshirt Jr. out of Frisco, Texas. And on first down, Terrion Gibson staying on his feet. And Terrion Gibson, who leads the country in yards per carry, turns nothing into a lot to the 39-yard line of UTSA, 27 yards. Adam, with that, that play, they start out with an isolation play to the left. He starts to bounce outside to the left, turns, comes all the way back around to the right, makes the huge game. That's five of the six games this year in which they've scored first. Dalton Sturm under pressure from Donnie White, flings it away since the Colin Kaepernick-led Nevada Wolfpack in 2009. And here is Jordan, and there goes Lamar Jordan, and had it not been for a ankle tackle saving a long run by Iguagu, he would have been gone. The boys, the offensive coordinator for uh, the Lobos, went him to go north and south. You see him plant his foot to the outside, and he's darting up the field. He's because one guy messes up, and you can give up the score. Stretch to the near side again. It's McCorley inside the 10. First down and goal. He has these running backs that we've heard about and watched on video are for real. This guy's 220 pounds. McCorley, the rock. holding. Nightmare is about the triple option. Punching it through is McCorley, and did he get in? He is marked just shy. Well, and when your name's Rock, you're probably going to get it again. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got 16 touchdowns. This is just a power play. Up inside, they've got an H back or running back that they have in the backfield lead. Changes field position completely. On the ground, it is the Rock. McCorley busting past the plane, and he's got the touchdown for the 24th time in his New Mexico career. These guys have an amazing combination of just power football. This was a, a just a dive play. Slim player. He was a slim QB at 165 pounds in high school. Jarvion Williams gets stuffed by Dakota Cox. That'll bring up third down and seven on a loss of two. To do, he's a tough guy. He's got a good instincts. He's only seven tackles away from 400 tackles. So you're watching 49 come inside. Look at it. Clearly, it was a clean play. Jordan rolling right, trying to beat a defender to the edge in Ben Kane, and he does. In space with Lamar Jordan. This guy can fly. He's not very big. He's listed at 5'10", 178. I'm not sure he's that big. Back-to-back -back bowl games for New Mexico, just the fourth time in program history. Oh, nice and, play. And a great play charging in for New Mexico's defense. Talent level in that game, very high. Come on. Sturm, under pressure, throws towards the end zone, and it's incomplete, out of bounds. It'll be the last couple of weeks. It is a keep for Jordan. And Lamar Jordan takes it to the 48-yard line. I'm out. And New Mexico. Run. That's their second time out of the half. This will be a 30-second timeout. This year, kicking into that win. And Jason Sanders launching one. And Jason Sanders drilled it for a career long at the end of the first half. Tuss State. And into a brutal wind from 52 out. That run after the catch by Gibson set it up for 52 yards and a 10 to 6 lead. Buick halftime is coming up. Chris Cotter, Joe. Jordan off the play fake. And will throw a little floater to McCorley. 
And McCorley with a first down and more, breaking tackles and spinning near midfield. For some points in the third, so Bob DeBest comes out. Second play, they're stopping the option, so he fakes it up inside to McCorley, and then he leaks out. Nobody's there to get him. Really good play on second down in the passing game for the Lobos. First bowl game comes up with a stop. Jordan on third down. Jordan needs the 11-yard line. It's a foot race there. Did he make it? And we'll some, mark it very close. Yeah, sometimes the best play you can have is a pass play with a quarterback when it's broken down, and you've got the ability like Lamar Jordan. Now he's got to get this. For They'll work it with Rock. McCorley trying to pound forward, and looks like he has enough to move the chains and does. He's questioned themselves when they handed it off last time to Tyrone Owens because he's 187 pounds. Give it to the big 220 guy up inside because there's five minutes of this second half. Straight up the gut. There goes Gibson into the end zone. The best rushing team in the country got a little help through the air, but they bang it in on the ground. Terry on Gibson. Ten point swing. They get the field goal right before the half. They take the ball. They've got the win. They need to score. They run option. They run pass. They but the Lobos are hyped. And Sanders will kick it short. A squib kick, and Gidry cannot handle it. He'll pick it up from the seven. And a great decision by New Mexico, because that will pin UTSA back at its own 13-yard line. A lot of things starting to go in New Mexico's favor. And now Dalton Sturm starts this drive from the 13-yard line. Nothing there for Jarvion Williams. Kimmy Carson in on the stop. 37th career game. Yeah, a lot of times you start looking at Kevin Cosgrove, the defensive coordinator. He's going to bring a Carson. My Looks friend. like they're coming after him with all of them. Good protection for Sturm. It's broken up. Josh Stewart, the intended target, and a great play by the third safety on the depth chart, Stanley Barnwell Jr., the junior college transfer out of Florida. Kevin Cosgrove gets them all up at the line of scrimmage. He brings them all but one. He's playing man-to-man -man outside. You've got to win one-on-one -on -one situation. And against a run. So on first down, it is Williams trying to shift to the outside. Nothing there. A good second effort by Nias Martin. Deep drop for Sturm. Looking to something will develop downfield. Instead, it's Lee Crosby lunging back for the interception. The Richard senior with his first pick as a New Mexico Loma. Cosgrove does the defensive coordinator we were just talking about. He shows blitz with everybody, and then he backs them out. And he really confused Dalton Sturm. Gets the safety up underneath. And very good interception. Nickelback Lee Crosby. What a play. Assistant lead about 25 all day. Draw play for Rhodes. Good penetration by Dakota Cox. 43rd career start today for the senior out of Draper, Utah. Excellent middle linebacker. Yeah, Dakota was actually committed to Cincinnati with Butch Jones and with the, the changeover when he went to Tennessee. Be smart here. Just a four-man rush. And it will still get to Stern as he stepped up in the pocket. He went right into the waiting arms of Garrett Hughes. Second team Mountain West Conference selection. Yeah, they describe, uh, describe Garrett Hughes to us as very active, a guy that's got constant energy, and they've got four good. UTSA sidelines getting rowdy. The first-year defensive coordinator, Pete Golding, looks on. As Jordan Lutz ran and finds Gamblin. And Gamblin grabbed by Iguagu, finally inside the 45 of UT for New Mexico this year. It's nearly unfair. You can see the wind blowing. It's right in his face. Run it, pound it, run it, pound it. And then you have a crossing route to the best receiver for the Lobos Gamblin. Second down and four here. Here is McCorley to the edge. And Iguagu cannot make the stop. McCorley will take it near the 10 yard line as Bass finally runs him down. We talk about Richard McCorley being the big tough guy inside. This guy's got speed at 220 pounds. Sees it's not there, he bounces out to his outside, letting it get down to about three seconds left. Right up the gut, trying to pound forward, and it is a touchdown for Richard McCorley, his second of the day. They have throughout the day on short yards and goal line, you do what you do best. You give it to your 220 pound back from Meridian, Mississippi, 
Richard McCourt. It's, it's you need, No, you need, it's, needs one of a kind. You beyond, can't be very unique. It's, it's beyond unique. <laughs> Sturm over the middle. That play gets broken up. Flush. <laughs> the five-yard offside penalty will be tacked on to the dead ball spot. First. Lamar Jordan, 81 yards on the ground today, takes the final knee. <laughs> I saw Richard McCorley, our player of the game, take quite the backflip in the air. <laughs> and for New Mexico, their second bowl win since the early 60s. And Bob Davey thrown up on the shoulders of the Lobos after a 23 to 20 win for New Mexico. First off, I'd like to thank everybody that's involved with this bowl, the city of Albuquerque, the state of New Mexico, for being great partners, for being great hosts and hostesses while the two teams were here playing the game. I'd also like to extend a special thank you to Jeff holding the mic and ESPN for six successful years of partnership between Gildan Brand and the Gildan New Mexico Bowl. I appreciate everything they do. And on behalf, on behalf of the 43,000 Gildan employees worldwide, I take pride in congratulating the University of New Mexico on winning the Gildan New Mexico Bowl. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Since we walked in here, we start every team meeting with Lobo's last bowl win. Let's try it one more time for our team. Lobo's last bowl win. He was the leading rusher, team high 13 carries at 81 yards. He's a junior with the through the ball four times. Three or four passing, 77 yards. He's your quarterback, Lamar Jordan. Where's Lamar? Do you let juniors on the stage? It's only seniors. Congratulations, Lamar. Congratulations, you guys came out here. It was windy. You run the ball, you only threw it four times, but that's what you guys do, huh? Oh, uh, you know. Number one team in the nation in rushing offense. You got to thank the whole line. You got to thank them running backs. You got to thank the receivers. Most of all, you got to thank the coaches and these wonderful fans out here. That's why we go. What does it mean for you to stand with these men on the stage, old trophy behind you that says champions? Oh, you know, it's a blessing. You know, you got to thank God. I mean, since day one, we've been working hard. You know, this is all for Kel, man. We love you to death, man. We love you. We miss you, dog. Outstanding offensive player of the game, New Mexico quarterback Lamar Jordan. Ten tackles, six solos, one breakup. Four years in a row led this team in tackles. He's a senior that just played his last game from New Mexico. He is the outstanding defensive player of the game, Dakota Cox. Congratulations, man. You have done so much with this program. Come back from injury to culminate your career standing right here, holding that in front of these people. You gotta feel special. It feels great. I just give credit to all these seniors that stuck it out. I mean, we went out, we went out there, played 100 miles an hour all the time, and got this win for this community and for this program. It feels great. How about this day, right? We wake up, it's raining sideways, it's chilly, it's windy. And I, I gotta believe it was the biggest crowd that we've seen in here this year, watching all these people come out on a day like today. It just shows the support of this football pro program and how much it means for us to come out here and play in front of them. I mean, that definitely shows New Mexico weather right there because it can change pretty quick. But I'm so excited to be out here with this team. I've created such a bond between all these guys. And I'll tell you what, it's been the best four years of my life. From a player's perspective, to, from a player's perspective, to be able to change that answer, last bowl win, 2016, that means what to you as you leave this program? Well, like I said, I got to give credit to all these seniors that stuck through it all and created this leadership around this program that rubbed off on everyone. And the support these fans give us, I mean, it allows us to come out here and just play our best every game. So I give credit to all the fans out here for your support. Thank you so much. Bob Davey took over the New Mexico program five seasons ago. They were 3-33 and 33 in the previous regime. He had to build this program back up. And five years later, their first bowl win under Bob Davey.